Hello, welcome to this second part of the um, vlog series on developing an RPG with uh, called Demon Hunter with Game Guru. So, in this episode, I'm going to approach things. It's going to be a mixture of um, showing game design, initial game design process. So, even before going into Game Guru, what I'm going to do is basically plan. I like manage planning what I'm going to do and what I need to do and developing a storyline developing uh, what specific scripts I might need in the game and just basically the actual design and mechanics of the game getting that more tight in my mind so when it comes to doing it I can just do it as it were so I'm on an application online web application called hack and plan which is very useful and so hack and plan .com, uh, you'll find it if you just Google it, hack and plan, hack n plan, so just with n, like it says there. And then, uh, so I'm just, I've just logged in my Google account, I've got a few other projects I did on here a while back. So I just want to add a personal project, let's do that. Here go, Demon Hunter, uh, uh, Open World RPG FPS. Set in a first um wasteland in the near future or something. Cost metric you want to do in days. On average, you're going to be spending four hours on this, if that. Uh, guideline. Uh, so let's just create this first. We'll always edit all this later on. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to go through this first, and then I'm going to go into Game Guru and start building stuff. But I'm just trying to show how this can um, speed up your creative process and just make it more obvious what I'm trying to do. Because that's something I'm still trying to define with this: is well, how much is this going to be going to be structured? Game design model is a very important tool. This is I'm still getting used to some of this anyway. But let's just do the first milestone. So milestones just help you define goals and then give you a deadline for achieving those goals so let's put uh, final design of world slash map put give yourself a week for that finish off the design of the map in full start date would just be today Sick for a. I want to try and get this finished by at least if I do it beforehand it'll be better but I'll do it at least by the 20th um, hopefully before finish off design of the map for the game and like you'll see as you just go through all this I'll just get rid of that Delete that first one. Uh, okay, so members, me, that other members there, so you've got a few people working on projects. Uh, so, yeah, this is, this is nice. It's got the board so you can break down all the different um, tasks. It's a sort of task. So you can really break it down into like programming, marketing, sound, blah, blah, blah. Um, to the right, develop. Story elements. So backstory, narrative, etc. This is pretty urgent. So we'll put that as urgent. Estimate costs. It's going to be two days. Well, one day. We're going to try and do it today. Actually, me. Category is writing stories. Yeah. It's not associated with any of them. Platform, blah blah blah. It's due date, just I'll try and get this done today, so one day. <coughs> Write the backstory for the game. Okay. Now if we go into writing now, it should be in there. Uh why isn't it? 
to the whole toss. Uh, what? Oh, I know, it's under that as well. Okay, so what I need to do is put this as a milestone. Actually, create background info and details of game, character design, etc. So, I want to do that too because I mean, I'm going to use because this is basically a prototype game create story and character design. Let's get on that. Okay, cool. So, we'll that there. Should have a task on here now. So I should so now I'll edit this. Define the milestone as no, that one. Now that should come up. There we go. So there you go, well, I, forgot to, I can put that on right it's there in plain black and white. There's some other things we're gonna have to define here, so let's just might as well just do it. Let's you know, create another milestone so all assets creation. And this is the best way to do it really is just to like logically Break things down, and you'll just figure out. Since you get a lot of kind of like things will branch off, like a mind map in your head when you're doing design work. So asset creation, uh, or uh, so it could be anything from splash screens, graphics, textures. I mean, this isn't as relevant because I'm using Game Boom, and I'm going to be using a lot of the pre-defined models, but I'm still kind of relevant. Uh, uh, 3D models if required. Yes. Okay, so for that, I'll give myself a week for that because uh, it's probably going to require a bit longer. Actually, a little longer. Uh, at least I'm not like on a strict deadline for this. So, uh, creation of for game play. I might, I might obviously naturally think of more stuff as I go along, create, there we go. And then I'm probably going to want to do uh, identify, uh, let's just put scripting. Implement and test all scripts for game. Uh, I want to give myself a while for that. So we would start today. Blah, 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 and then just take that for a push start next month. I'll probably uh, give it a lot longer for that actually, sorry. Test scripts game. And uh, develop, so I'm gonna, now I want to get more into this, so that does develop uh, game mechanics. And design, uh, create and define gameplay elements, and blah, blah blah blah, all that stuff. So, like how the actual mechanics, how the game works, like whether you want a market system, whether you want uh, bartering, whether you like, because I wanted to have some RPG elements, but be FPS as well. So, I'm going to have to figure out the balance between those two and how, I mean, obviously, the combat balance comes into it, but uh, also as well, I kind of want to give it the whole game kind of an open-ended feeling so you can en probably end up in three or four different places at the end of the game so it's got some replayability um, uh, so I'm going to start this as a bit of the order so this is ongoing but I want to define most actually let's try and get I'm trying to get most of that done within the first two weeks because I've got the story finalised the game mechanics will evolve in as well but I just want to get them very tight because it's an RPG as well I think it's even more important There we go. So, we've got one task so far. Next thing to do is, uh, yeah, it's really like, 
break this down a bit. So, develop game, blah, 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 blah. design probably. So, task for that. Human Hunter. So, again, this is another case of just breaking stuff down. And I'll just do this the last one because I wasn't going to be on this for ages and people get bored. Which probably already are on some level. Um, but yeah, like I said, I just think it's interesting to break down logically how to structure this stuff. Um, next. That's so, alright. Um, combat system. This is important. Uh, what you, I'm just going to have it as a shooter. So uh, I'm gonna ha I want to have probably a shop system. So that's just normal estimated costs. It's probably going to be a day max. The design. It's not AI, it's mechanics. And it uh, wants to go, yep, it's in there. Design element. I forgot. I'm not going to be on there yet. Platforms, no matter. Due date is probably. We want to get it done for the 20th at least. If not a little sooner. Develop system for bartering and buying, selling in game. Oh, so another very important thing is going to be one thing is going to be important is quests. This ties into stories as well. So this will be quite high, I think. It's going to probably be probably a week, actually. It's going to do good ones. Um, uh, put it this right, yes. It's more um, story. Let's look at some other stuff. Met metrics, this gives you uh, how well you're doing on each area basically, like are you meeting deadlines and such. Game design model, this is where it kind of gets more interesting, I'll go into that in a second. Administration, because uh, you can really like, yeah you can start basically building your game up from where I remember this. So let's put a new element. Yeah and you can attach like images and stuff to this, it's quite cool. Story. Oh, and type chapter. So it'll be probably. It's not system. It's not character. It's not chapter. Yes. Content. Uh, story for backstory for game. Today, I want to do this today. Create another one, I need characters. Main player. Not a child, that's a char character. I guess you better sit there. Character, yeah. content. And that'll take a while. Let's see. And let's have a look, configure. Okay, so I've probably yabbered for enough now. I'm going to give you an <coughs> introduction to using the hack and plan. I'm not going to make, do this any longer, but I mean, like as you can see, hack and plan just really helps to get those initial ideas of shit, what do I need to do, you know, get it done. Then start really drilling down, because now I can, I don't want to do a video for too long, but I can really drill down into, uh, uh, you know, the specifics of what I need to get done. Get it all down on paper, or well, paste in this case actually, and then just
just start all defining all the kind of granular level stuff in the game that I can implement it, which, um, which is speeds up the entire process of implementation. So that's why I think it's useful for hacking the planet. For any game designs, I mean, it's something I need to do more. You have to be quite disciplined with it, but it's worth doing. So, yeah, I've been Noah Vortex. Cheers for listening, and uh, 